Uh, hi everyone, it's me again. I'm very sorry for not reviewing the last chapter for Black Clover. Unfortunately, Hirachi Sotsu made its debut last week and they released two episodes, so my attention, all my attention was drifted into Hirachi Sotsu and Black Clover just slipped my mind and I apologize for that. But today I'm going to review both chapters for Black Clover. As you know, um, on chapter 297, they left it in such a cliffhanger where we saw Magicula emerging and leaving us completely shocked. Also, uh, Lord Picha got turned into a devil and just so many things happened uh, for chapter 297. And I just read both of the chapters and it got even more crazy. But uh, let's begin. So uh, the chapter begins with Noel uh, completely shocked and surprised and wondering how the hell is Magicula even here? How she even able to manifest if only one of the gates have been open. Magicula explains that uh, she has uh, done a spell called Malevolent Femcation and the spell took uh, a while for her to achieve it as it required a lot of preparation and many sacrifices. One of those sacrifices was of course Noelle's mom when she cursed her and when Noelle's mom uh, died she was hardly able to manifest in Bonica. Then Bonica was another sacrifice and now that she's on the brink of dying, she's able to manifest even more now. And then uh, the queen, or Pichka, uh, who's also on the verge of dying too, and Magicula also tinker with the curse and turn her into a devil. And if both Bonica and Lord Pichka die, um, Magicula is gonna to be able to fully manifest without the need of more gates to the underworld to be open. We see that uh, with Magicula messing up with the curse that's still within uh, Lord Pichka, her magic gets even more twisted and she starts using demon uh, water magic, which looks insanely creepy and pretty awesome. Of course, Noel uh, tries to fight back, but we see that uh, Magicula's curse. Uh, got even stronger now that she's able to partly manifest into the world. Of course, Charlotte is doing her best to kind of like um, weaken her curse, but uh, we see that it's not doing much. Also, we see Rill trying to, you know, back away Charlotte and also help around. And his spell looks pretty awesome, but we see also Magicula attacking. And it's just insane that they're these two strong mages from uh, the Clover King are getting overpowered. We see Gacha uh, is fighting with the queen, he's doing his best, like uh, he doesn't want to harm her, but it gets to the point that um, Lord Pichka uh, hurts Gacha and literally punches through his abdomen. It's just pretty horrifying. And to make matters worse, we see that uh, Noelle's uh, saint form vanishes too and it's like things got back from worse already and it's getting even worse with Noelle's on the same form uh, completely gone uh, she can't do anything anymore she's completely useless right now also Menchikula says that she also casted it became world and there's no way for Noelle or anyone to stop it we see that Gacha is still alive but He's already on the verge of death and he does something to uh, Lord Picha without causing much injury to her. He uses a spell called uh, Lightning Magic Barcelanta and with this spell uh, he immobilizes uh, Lord Picha for a little while. Then we see uh, a little bit of Gacha's backstory where um, the moment where Bionica attacked the kingdom and attacked the queen and of course Gacha was unable to do much and he just felt guilty that he couldn't do anything and he doesn't even feel fit to be a guardian. And seeing that all that is happening, I mean, Lord Pichu got turned into a devil. He feels even more guilty that he couldn't do anything to protect the queen. And now he feels even more sh sure that he was just unfit to be a guardian. God just says that he's not going to let the queen die and he also is not going to let the queen kill him from the wound that he inflicted on him. He then turns uh, his life force into magic and and does one final attack to, I guess, uh, kill uh, Magicula. 
he uses an ultimate magic attack. Uh, his attack is called Ultimate Lightning Magic Apocalypse Astrausa. And wow, it looks so awesome, the attack, but it's also sad because I guess this is God just last spell to kill Magicola and also save the queen and everyone else. Noel immediately heads there and tries to do one final attack, uh, thinking that probably Magicola's heart is exposed and they could finish the fight once and for all. But uh, then we see, I guess, Gacha is already dead. But we also see that there's a lot of smoke covering Magicola. Livino's in doubt that if he was even able to kill Magicola. Who knows? I don't think uh, Magicola is dead. I mean, she already got more powerful. And um, for all we know, Gacha could have killed Vanika and Magicola could have started manifesting even more and gained more power. So who knows? Uh, both of the chapters were amazing. I highly doubt Magicola is dead. I just don't think. After the twist that they gave us for the last two chapters, I doubt that Magicola is dead. I'm thinking, uh, I hope that uh, Gordon arrives. As you know, he started, um, he started uh, training with his dad to teach him about curses. So I'm really hoping that uh, Gordon comes here and get, gives, them, gives them a hand because honestly things are getting really, really bad here. Also, who knows, maybe Gray might be able to help. Who knows, but I'm, I'm really hoping that Gordon shows up here because this would be pretty awesome. And we don't really see much of Gordon and I'm really hoping we see a little bit more here. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you for the next one.